Happy with yourself, Miss King? You realize you took a serious gamble arranging this tournament. If another demon had won, all three worlds could have been plunged into a war of unspeakable horror. But look on the bright side, that's not what happened, is it? You idiot! Once again, you didn't use your brain, you acted on heart and dumb instinct. In fact, all of you did. But somehow it worked. Without you, Kurama, and Hiei fighting on emotions alone, this piece wouldn't have happened. Yusuke, what you've managed to do is... Spare me the gratitude. Like you said, I wasn't thinking. So my punching Yomi knocked him out of the race. And me powering up got the others to max out before the final round. That's nothing I could have known. I was just fighting. These fellas won't ever do. Winning's never been the real reason I fight. That's just the kind of guy I am. I can't take it. Come on! You saved the world, so take the credit! <laughs> I understand, this thing. You two could live a thousand lifetimes and still never run out of things to fight about. That's what makes hanging out with you so much fun. I'll miss it. As for your detective gig, your firing is permanent. That's good. I was just about to tell you I quit. Guess our next meeting will be more formal. Right. When my time comes. Just make sure you actually have space for me next time. Sure. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe by then you'll be out of your diaper phase. <laughs> Well, I'd say that's a good end to a detective's career. What should we do with all the footage we've seen? Huh? Package it. And so indeed, Yusuke's journey as a spirit detective is done. What lies ahead as he grows from boy to man? Not even the supposedly wise Koenma could know that. I won't give you the narrator job if you annoy me. <laughs>
Yeah.